everyone in this video i am going to show you how to add timer in google form quiz so first let's open the google type google form click on that go to the google forms you can select a blank form but we will go for the blank quiz now here give the name of the quiz like asp.net description like test 2 now you can select uh, the questions with the different types like short answer paragraph multiple here we select the multiple choice for the quiz first what is the full form of ASP you can select the various or uh, you can put a various options like first active x server page second active server page here active simple page option 4 active server panel ok now here you can add an answer key also so option 1 is correct and you can give the point for a correct answer like 1 2 3 4 and ok done now i want to add a timer in this quiz so first click on the three dots right hand side top corner click on add-ons here search timeify.me click on that click on install continue you can validate with your email successfully installed next if you want to do any additional setup then you can do from here but here uh, right now there is no need of the additional setup so done okay. here you can see the new icon of add on ok so now click on that click on timeify ok now in another tab search timeify dot me sign in with the google enter your complete your registration purpose you can select personal or business here select personal objective for the education purpose okay 
and select your password okay now this is the very important step copy this code copy this token because this token you have to add in your google form so now again go to the google form refresh it click on add on timeify.me here you can see the option configure click on configure here you have to paste the token which we have copied from the timeify.me website so paste it over here connect and enable add on for this form okay after this step again go to the timeify.me website you can see here the your form sp.net now to create click on the create test name of the respondent you can use a individual id or you can also use a google group id so suppose i write a b parmar here you can write a google group id also timer duration suppose i set 20 minutes for this quiz auto close form when timer is over and allow to view score and result after the submission so here the test is created for AB Perma. Now you can send this state. First we will open the demo state. For AB Perma, this is a default test of 30 minutes. Here is the timer. Active server page and you can submit the test. Okay. and you can able to view your score also again you create another test for example er dot amit parmar at the rate gmail dot com timer duration you can set manually this uh, that one is a previous one is a demo test create now you can select the public form link choose a test Amit Parmar here is your quota you have a free quota of 100 test provide access ok kindly copy this url it will work properly previous uh, link may create a problem copy this url paste it or send it to anyone to open the quiz 20 minutes open the form you can select the test We can view the score one out of one. Okay, thank you. Hope you liked it. And you can also change the setting from here, like collect email address, and you can restrict the signing and after presentation. So the progress bar. So here time as the timer moves, you can also able to see the progress bar and we select the quiz form so otherwise you have to
on this toggle button and you can also able to release the grid with the help of this option immediately after each submission and respondent can also able to see missed question correct answer and point values after that save these changes so thank you hope you liked it and please like and subscribe for the next video update thank you